Hello everyone, this is Miss Helen. Today, we are doing our steam activity. So we've been doing a lot with leaves last week and this week for our projects. Today, for our steam activity, we are doing an art experiment with coffee filters, water, and markers. We are studying how water can move through a leaf. Have you ever heard of transpiration? What about perspiration? What can humans not live without? The answer is water. Our bodies are made up of anywhere from 55% to 78% of water. And we perspire in order to release heat and keep our bodies at a good temperature. Sweating helps us a lot. How do dogs perspire? By panting. What about plants? Well, they transpire through their leaves. Plants lose water through a part of their leaves called stomata. The stomata are microscopic sized holes, also called pores. Here we have a blown up version showing the different stomata. And here are two leaves similar to what we'll be doing today. Can you see the different designs on the leaves? that come from nature. This is the epidermis of the leaves. And here's an oak leaf showing the similar way that this type of leaf has its stomata. But again, it's a lot easier to see when you have it blown up in a picture like this. So the plants lose water through the stomata, which again are microscopic sized holes. And the stomata allow carbon dioxide into the leaf. And they also let oxygen out of the leaf during the process of photosynthesis. Transpiration allows plants to keep cool like humans. And it's the process of moving water I'm sorry, and it also moves the water back into the atmosphere and keeps the plants doing their part in the water cycle. So for today's STEAM activity, you can come to the library and you'll pick up the directions and four filters, four coffee filters. At home, you'll want to have a cup of, or a bowl of water ready four markers in different colors, scissors, and the directions. So the coffee filters are going to help us see how the water can move through a leaf. So first, we're going to take each coffee filter and cut the leaf. Now, in the center of each leaf, we're going to draw a circle. And we're going to make sure that it's nice and thick and dark. OK, 
Okay, now we're going to fold each leaf three times. We're going to fold it once, Fold it twice. Yeah, let's just fold it twice. And it'll depend on how big you made your circle because you're going to have to have it with a point color. So you're gonna to wanna to leave more space than I did in the center of your circle. Next, we're going to dip it into the water. Make sure to have something nearby for the leaves to dry on. I'm using paper plates and paper towel. All right, now we're going to dip just the white part in and watch how the color moves. It's really moving on this side. Great. We'll be back in just a moment once our leaves have dried and then we will unfold them and see how they look. And so here are our dried leaves. So we learned a few things today. We can see how the color traveled a wide distance, a far distance I should say. Also, it would be good if you cut out all of the black so that the black won't be mingling with your marker color. Or if you think it looks cool like I do, then you can keep it on there as well. We can also see the center part where the water began and then moved out from. And also you might want to use darker colors when you do this too to see more of a contrast. You can actually use these leaves to decorate your home if you like during the fall season. The more dry they get, the easier they'll be to hang up. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning today about leaves and transpiration and how water travels through them. Thank you for joining us for our STEAM programming. If there's anything that you would like us to see, do an experiment with or an activity for, please reach out to us and let us know. Thank you so much and happy reading. Enjoy.